Hey guys, welcome to Phone Flipping for Beginners. For those of you who don't know, I'm Dave, from Phone Flipping 101 YouTube channel. On this channel, I'm gonna teach you step by step of what to do to start making one to $2,000 profit in your first 10 days of flipping phones and other electronics. Sound good? Of course it does. Many of my students are doing just that. How? By learning what to do before you start phone flipping. And more importantly, what not to do. Because not knowing what to do and what not to do causes you to make mistakes. And what does mistakes do? Mistakes cost you money and nobody likes to lose money in this business or any other business for that matter. Am I right? If you start losing money phone flipping, it's not worth it. You're going to get very discouraged. So learn from the best what to do and what not to do. And here we go. All right, guys, now before we jump right into it, there's some questions that I'm going to answer that I get asked a lot. Number one, is phone flipping easy and is it profitable? Simple answer, yes and yes, especially if you know what to do the first time around. And that's what I'm here to teach you guys. It's very, very easy to make $1,000 to $2,000 a week flipping phones. I know there's a lot of people out there making more, and I know there's a lot of people out there making less. Now, if you're phone flipping and you've been doing it for a while, you're not making consistently $1,000 to $2,000 a week, I'm going to be very blunt with you. You are doing it wrong. There's many days where I make one to $2,000 a day, and that's the truth. Now, question number two, can I really make a full-time income off of part-time work flipping phones? Well, if you listen to what I just said in question number one, yes, it's very simple to make $1,000 and $2,000 a week, especially when you know what to do before you start your journey on phone flipping. And like I said, more importantly, what not to do. And that's what we're going to get into. Uh, let's see. Question number three, isn't phone flipping just buying phones off of Facebook marketplace and then reselling for more money? Um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now just think of it. If you're doing phone flipping that way, you're doing it the wrong way. Do you know how hard it is to get a phone at a good price on Marketplace where you can reflip it on Marketplace or something or on eBay and make a profit? It's very hard to do. Yes, some people do it that way, but you got to think hundreds of other people are out there trying to get that same phone, lowballing the guy. Try it, or, the, or whoever's selling the phone or the device, lowballing them, trying to get it as low as possible so you, the reseller, the phone flipper, can make a couple bucks, right? That's very hard to do. Now, if you listen to the way I'm going to teach you guys here in upcoming videos, I'm going to teach you how to have people message you directly wanting to sell their phones and devices to you. Now, doesn't that sound a lot easier? You wake up in the morning, you got 14, 15, 20 messages. How much will you give me for my iPhone 15 Pro Max, you know, 128 carrier unlock, stuff like that. We're going to get into all of this. Do not worry. That sounds much easier that way, right? So this is what I'm saying. Already, what not to do, don't go on Marketplace looking for phones. You're not going to get them at a price where you could resell them. You can once in a while, but I'm talking, you know, we're making $40, $60, $100 or more per phone, per device that we buy. Doesn't that sound good? Now, there's many more questions I get asked all the time, but, and we'll get into those as we go over uh, each step in these upcoming videos. Now, I wanna give you the rules of phone flipping. Rule number one, very important here. Never, and I say never, never believe what the seller tells you. Because most of the time they're lying, or they just don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, the phone is unlocked. What does that mean? Is carrier unlocked? Is iCloud unlocked? Um, it's not blacklisted. And like, if any of these terms don't make sense to you, don't worry. I'm going to explain each one as we get further and further into the teachings of how to flip phones the right way for big profits. Okay, so never believe what the customer tells you. You always have to check the phone out in person if you're buying them in face-to-face. And I will teach you down the road how to get phones mailed into you. This is advanced stuff, but we'll get into that later down the road. Um, so a perfect example, someone says, hey, I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I don't have any right here right now. Um, it, it's, you know, it's carrier locked or it's not carrier locked. And, um, you know, how much will you give me? So what, what's the gigabytes? We'll get into all this, how to appraise phones too. Don't worry about that. Uh, and then, you know, you get there and it's carrier lock, it's iCloud lock. They don't know the iCloud password, which 
kind of tells you it might not even be their phone, but we're going to get into all that too. There's a lot of stuff you need to know so you don't get ripped off when you're buying your first phones or just buying your phones down the road. But if you know what to do from the beginning and what not to do, like I said, you'll never ever lose money if you listen to what I'm going to tell you and all these steps. So make sure you watch all these videos front to end because I'm just going to be randomly throwing some stuff in like this. And it might not have a specific uh, category, you know what I mean? Because I have so much information to get out to you guys. Okay, now rule number two, very, very important also. You got to remember this. You make your profit in phone flipping when you buy, when you buy the phone or other device that you're going to resell. Not when you're reselling it. You make your profit when you buy it, not when you resell it. Now, does that make sense? If not, it will definitely make sense to you once we get further down the road. Now, rule number three of phone flipping, read number one and number two every day, and you will not lose money. All right, guys, so I hope you're pretty interested. Now, I'm going to give you a rundown of what I'm going to be teaching you over these next coming videos. There's going to be a lot of them because there's a lot of information, a lot of information I'm going to teach you step by step, too, so you don't, like I said, do something wrong and lose money. And don't mind, I'm going to be reading off my list here. We're going to start off, you know, by teaching you the easiest way, you know, to, to flip phones. And um, you could you could actually start this now if you want, but I'll get, I'll get into it in another video of how to do this step by step. If you're brand new and you want to start flipping phones, open up yourself an eBay account. I'm going to show you in a video how to do that. Open up yourself a PayPal account. You're going to want PayPal. Um, if you have like Zelle or anything with your bank, make sure you have that set up, stuff like that. But I'll, I'll get through all that. I'll get to all that and do it and show you step by step. But if you want to get a little head start, I do that right now whenever you can, just so you're already ready. You don't have to do it down the line. So like I'm going to teach you, teach you how to set all that up. Um, I'm going to teach you how to post free ads, free ads where people are going to message, start messaging you. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to do it like on Craigslist. I'm going to teach you how to do paid ads on Craigslist. I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to post in dozens and dozens of free Facebook groups and marketplaces every day. And thousands and thousands of people in your area are going to see that you buy phones and they're going to start messaging you. And it's not just that simple though. I'm going to, we're going to get way more into details to make it more professional. Um, you can start your own Facebook page to something you know that will save you know you can change the name later like i buy phones and stuff but we're going to get into all that this is how we're going to get people to message us directly instead of us going out looking for phones people are going to see our free ads and or paid ads we're going to get to that down the road too how that works great i get most of my most of my phones through paid ads and they're very cheap um message me every single day how much you buy this for how much you buy i have so many repeat customers we'll get into all that see i'm getting ahead of myself uh, we'll, we're going to po post our free ads on places, you know, on apps, you know, like offer up, let go, or one of those doesn't work anymore. Stuff like that. Um, we're going to get into the technical parts, you know, before we actually start buying any phones and selling any phones, you need to know what certain terms mean, you know, um, IMEI, ESN, what does that mean? Um, finance phones, what does that mean? Can we resell them? Will they still work? Um, and why I buy buy and sell all my phones as bad ESN. You might not know what that means, but we're going to definitely get into that. Um, why I do not resell finance phones locally and why, because you can definitely get yourself in a little pickle doing that and pissed off customers and down the line and you'll give yourself a bad reputation. Um, more about bad ESN phones. Uh, where to sell bad ESN phones? If you don't know what bad ESN phones means, finance phones, um, blacklisted phones, stuff like that. If you don't know what blacklisted means, we're going to get into all that. Carrier unlocked versus unlocked. Can we carrier unlock phones? We'll get into all that. Now, how to check the IMEI on what websites is stuff? Can we check the IMEI? The best sites to check it on for free or paid ones. We're going to get into all that. See, I have a lot of information here, guys. Uh, iCloud lock phones. Can we buy them as iCloud lock? Can we remove the iCloud lock? Everything you need to know on that, we'll get into that. Um, what to check for when buying a phone, when you're buying the phone from the person, what to check for. This is very important because if you miss something, something's locked, something's it's iCloud locked, or there's a crack or a scratch, something like that, it devalues the price and you don't want to lose money, like I said. 
Um, what to look for when buying a phone. Yeah, make sure iCloud is off. We're gonna get into all that. I'll show you a video on how to check for that. Um, always use a bill of sale. Now I'll give you the bill of sale when the time comes. You can just, it's a, I'll put in a PDF and you can download it and you can put in your own information. And this is very important. And I'll explain why when we get to that. Like I said, there's a lot of information here, guys. Um, now we're gonna start off by teaching you how to sell on eBay. So that's why I said open up an eBay account. Um, and we'll eventually get into selling to private buyers. I do have a list of private buyers all around the world that pay about the same as eBay prices, maybe a little higher without all the fees associated with eBay. Um, how to uh, use eBay to appraise. Now, this is very important because you don't know how much that phone is worth. Someone's messaging you will just use iPhone 13 Pro Max or something, 128 gigabyte carrier unlocked. If you don't know what all that means, we're going to get into that, like I said. You don't know how much the going value is right now. I'm going to teach you how to use eBay to check that, not just go looking up the same phone, but sort of like that. We're going to take uh, three or four or five of the same phone, same condition, same everything, and we'll get our medium price there. And then you could you'll say, okay, this phone's worth, for an example, we'll just say $300. You came to the conclusion it's $300. Now, obviously, you're not going to offer that person $300. Anything you offer less than that is going to be your profit. So see where I'm getting at, but it, it, it takes time and there's very important steps to follow. And if you do follow me step-by-step, step, like I'm getting to here, you will not lose money. I can guarantee you that if you do what I say, you will not lose money. The only way you're going to lose money is if you choose to lose money, is if you do not follow what I say. Okay. Now I have a script, which is in my full phone flipping course, which we'll get to that later if you, anybody wants to check that out. And I'll put a link, link in the description or in the pinned comment below at the top comments below this video here on YouTube. You can check that out. I used to sell it for $699. I would sell it now for $79, guys. I give a lot of the information out for free. Not everything, like especially that part of the script where it's that, how to rebuttal. Okay, so now you find out that that phone was worth $300. And you tell, the guy wants 400 for it, but you know it's only worth 300 And then you have eBay fees and shipping fees and stuff if you're selling on eBay. So you got to get it for a good price where you could make some money. Uh, you tell the guy, okay, well, you know, I'll give you 200 No, 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 that's not enough. So what do you say from there? Well, I have a pretty much script for almost every rebuttal that someone can say. Oh, I need 300 Well, sir, unfortunately, the, you know, the going price is this. And I'll teach you how to blame it like on a third party, meaning the current market. And you totally understand. I tell you how to um, how to use their name, say their name is Dave. Uh, unfortunately, Dave, unfortunately, Dave. Well, Dave, I understand where you're coming from. Always be on their side, but blame it like on a third party. You mentioned their name two or three times. It makes them kind of have a rapport with you, like almost becoming your friend. And we're going to get into all this. All this is very important between closing a deal really quickly or not closing it at all. See, I got a lot of information, guys, for you to give you guys. Um, I'll give you t examples of bad, good, bad, good leads and bad leads and stuff, where they went wrong and stuff like that. We're going to get into all that. Um, telling the seller what to do to the phone or the vice before you meet up to save time. We'll tell them the factory reset it, shut, take, take off their iCloud or their Google lock, any of that. We'll get into all that. You know, make sure the iCloud's removed. We'll go over that again. Meet in a place where there's free Wi-Fi. That's pretty much everywhere these days. But, you know, we, you know we'll get into that where to meet and uh, what to check for and all that. How far do I drive to meet the seller? Well, basically, they want to sell the phone probably more than you want to buy the phone. I don't know. That depends kind of thing. It depends how, how ambitious you really are. Well, I, I don't go more than a, not even a half a mile. I just go right up the street and meet people, or I usually meet them um, a couple certain places, depending on what day it is. I'll have people meet me right after each other and just get all the, pretty much, you know, 10, 15 phones done in like a couple hours and make my thousand, two thousand $2,000 profit right there, in, you know, a couple hours of work. Uh, but we'll get into all that. Uh, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Smarter, not harder. You're going to hear me talk about this a lot. Smarter, not harder. Keep it simple. It's easy to make money. Um, yeah, eBay has changed a little bit. So I'll tell you how to list on eBay, you know, what not to say, enlisting conditions, you know, good, new, used, refurbished, anything like that. Uh, how to list the phones on eBay. 
uh, about PayPal. eBay doesn't really use PayPal anymore, but you still need PayPal. You know, you, a lot of people want PayPal if you're buying a phone from them locally and stuff like that. Um, avoid being scammed on eBay. This is very important, especially for new people because uh, scammers, they target new people. Uh, how do I pack my phones and ship them and, you know, all that stuff uh, for eBay? I'm going to teach you all that. It's very simple. You can get free supplies. Uh, do I insure each phone and stuff like that? We'll get into all that. Uh, what's the private buyers and the benefits of that? Well, the benefits is there's no fees and private buyers pay good ones, like overseas ones. I do have a list um, of all around the world. We'll get into all that when the time is right on who I sell to and stuff like that for the highest prices. So I don't even really sell too much on eBay. Sometimes I do. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I, I sell stuff on eBay almost every day. But it's been up there a little bit, you know, older phones or something that's not working, like for parts and stuff. But we're going to get into all that. Um, and private buyers, who's the best ones out there, in, like in the United States and stuff like that. We're going to get into all that. Hey, right here, common mistakes to avoid when phone flipping. Everybody wants to know those. Nobody wants to lose money, like I said. Uh, why you're not getting a lot of phone leads, right? It's the way you word things and this and that. We're going to I have many examples I'll show you in upcoming videos. Um, where should you be posting your ads daily? Like I said, we're going to go over all that Facebook marketplace, all these buy and sell groups that are local to you, Craigslist, all these apps and stuff like that. We're going to get into all that stuff. Um, how do appraise your phones, list your phones and get your ads to stick. Like if you're doing marketplace ads and they're getting taken down words, not to use like perfect example, you shouldn't be using the word cash. You shouldn't be using the word Apple or iPhone um stuff like that so we'll get into all that and you think that sounds crazy but it makes a world of difference of why i get all the phones and anybody else around here trying to get phones locally i get them all uh, no there's no competition trust me i've been doing this for a long time uh let's see phone shipping um, um we got live chats i'll put some live chats where there's a lot of questions and answers i'll put some videos up with that and stuff like that um and we'll get into creating the Facebook page, get, uh, claiming your custom Facebook URL, making your Facebook paid ads, if you were going to get into that, and you know what to do if your ad's not approved. All this I have in my, my full phone flipping course. If you guys are interested, you want to just skip watching this video now and skip future videos I'm about to make, you can get everything, everything I just talked about and a lot more, all for $79.99. And it, you can't beat that. I, like I said, I used to sell it for six ninety nine, but we're not talking about that right now. Um, so with that being said, guys, um, I do have a free phone flipping course for beginners, free mini course. It's just www.phoneflipping101.com. Check it out. Put your email address in. You hit enter. Watch the videos in there. Make sure you join the new phone flipping uh, for beginners Facebook group. Phone flipping one one uh, Facebook group uh, for beginners. Like I just said. Um, and make sure you subscribe to this and hit that bell because I'm going to be making a lot of videos following this up. If they're not already up there, if they are, part two will be up here or up here in a second. But with that being said, guys, keep hustling, my friends. I can't wait to teach you some more.